Welcome to our tutorial on materials in Ease 5. This tutorial deals with different topics related to wall materials. For timestamps of the individual topics, please see the description. After you have built your room model, you can now start to work on the details of your project. These details include the materials on the walls, floors, ceilings, and objects in your room. Ease 5 FE comes with a very comprehensive material database. The database is located in the menu tab surfaces under materials. As soon as you click in the search bar, the database opens as a drop-down menu. The database is divided into four sections, materials in use, generic materials, AFMG database, and custom database. We will come to the latter in a later section. The materials in use are those materials that are already assigned to faces in your project. Generic materials are artificially generated material data that can serve as a starting point and as a placeholder for later refinement. And the AFMG database, which is a large collection of materials from the literature and manufacturer's catalogs. Each of the material entries in the database is provided with a frequency-dependent view of the absorption coefficients, an average value of these, a short description, as well as the original source from which the material data was taken. As soon as you move the mouse over a material in the material database, this information is displayed. How are the absorption coefficients to be classified? The sound absorption coefficient alpha indicates how large the absorbed part of the total sound incident is. For example, alpha equals zero, no absorption of sound energy takes place, the entire sound incident is reflected. At alpha equals 0.5, 50% of the sound energy is absorbed and 50% is reflected. When creating or importing your project, all materials were equipped with the default material 100% reflective. Now it's time to find the matching materials, select them and assign them to faces in your room model. Materials in a room are often supplied by architects or can be found in building plans. If you are completely unfamiliar with the materials in the room, we recommend that, if the room already exists, you take a reverberation time measurement or choose the materials by inspection on site. If the reverberation time of the measurement and the simulation differ, play a little with the different materials of a material type to achieve a better match of the material assignments. To change the materials in your room model, select faces belonging to the same material. In this case, we select all faces of the roof in the model. The easiest way to select faces is to hold down the left mouse button and drag a frame over the desired faces. To add more faces to the selection, press Ctrl and the left mouse button. To remove them, also use this key combination and click on the face already highlighted in green. Select a suitable material from the database. As the faces were already selected, the assignment in your model changes after a mouse click on the material in the database. A custom material database can be created in which self-created materials can be stored, managed, and sorted. A folder named Custom Materials was created for this purpose during installation. Any number of subfolders can be created for sorting. The names of the subfolders serve as search tags in Ease 5. Here, the folder names can be found in the search tags area for the respective material. When these keywords are entered in the search bar, the materials are displayed. Own material files can be created via the material editor. The label and a description of the material can be entered. Absorption coefficients are entered in the coefficients tab. Only the frequencies present in the material source need to be filled in. For example, if only octave values are available, enter the values only at the frequencies that are provided. Go to Edit, Interpolate Absorption, 
Click on OK and the remaining frequencies will be interpolated. After adding all these information, go to File and choose Save Material A's. Select the Custom Materials folder and any subfolder you wish to store your new material in the database. The new material can now be found in the Custom Materials database and via the search tag, Absorber. If you import projects via DWG file from third-party CAD tools into Ease 5, materials can be sorted by layer or tag already during the modeling process. For example, if a room is drawn in SketchUp, it might be useful to create tags for the different materials already there. Create tags for different materials in the Tags drop-down. Then select the individual faces or all faces of a material at the same time and assign the previously created materials in the entity info under tags. To export your model in the DWG format, go to File Export, 3D Model, and store your DWG file. Make sure you have deselected edges in the Export options. Import the DWG file into Ease 5 fe up to version 53 via DWG Import button. For later versions, this function is integrated in the Open button. The import loads all tags and layers previously created in the CAD tool as selection sets into Ease. These can then be selected individually, and suitable materials can be assigned to the faces stored in the selection sets. The assignment via the material database is made in the same way as for faces created in Ease itself. Materials can be used not only to cover the room with the existing materials, but also to analyze different scenarios or stages of the room. The field of application is very diverse, for example, use cases such as the analysis of the influence of different absorber materials, or, as in the following example, the effect of different occupations of the audience. First, our sample room is equipped with upholstered but unoccupied benches, derived from a calibration measurement. We now run a simulation for this condition. Our calculations are started via the tab calculations and room mapping. We perform an aura calculation, but the type of calculation is not relevant for our example. In order to obtain results, we select all speakers and all audience areas. Further settings for calculations are covered in an additional tutorial. Once a simulation has been completed and saved, you can view the different acoustic measures in the View Calculations window and map them to the calculated audience areas. The next step is to replace the material of the unoccupied benches. The church is now to be equipped with listeners. People in the room naturally change the degree of absorption of the floor face or the seating. The human body, as well as the clothing worn, naturally serve as an equivalent absorption surface with the corresponding properties. In this example, we choose a seated audience on upholstered seats in order to analyze the effect of occupied upholstered benches on the results. A second simulation with exactly the same calculation settings as the first simulation can now be started and carried out. If we select T20 in the View Calculations window for both simulations and press the mapping button, we get the present result. On the left side, we see the result for the unoccupied benches. On the right side, the result for the benches with an audience. Even the first glance at the color scale and the maximum and minimum values of the reverberation time shows that the result of the reverberation time has changed. It is lower now due to the occupation of the benches. Individual results and values, depending on the location in the room, can be easily checked using the print value function in the mouse menu. When choosing a similar location, we get different results in the two simulations. For more information on materials and other topics, please visit our LearnEase5 page.
To always be up to date, follow us on social media, sign up for our newsletter, or contact us via our website if you have any questions.